this was supposed to be the visor video for that helmet. This is not the visor video for that helmet because I'm having problems with that visor for that helmet. So instead, we're gonna finish the other part first. This video All about thighs. I was just gonna wear some white um, tights, leggings, under, and not even worry about them. But I did, I printed them. I printed them like five times so far just to get the sizing right. I printed them in white, they have the little buckles. Hold on. So they have the little buckles, the seam on both sides. It's a nice curve for my leg. I've already smoothed this one a little bit. And then this goes up on the hip. So this is the front. Um, I wanted them both to be white. They're not. Because I ran out of this much filament at the very end. I don't normally um, print in the color that um, the piece is going to be in because of weathering. This guy doesn't get much weathering, so I thought it'd be neat to, to do it in white because I'm wearing white leggings and I don't want any color transferring over. What we're going to do with this, sand it, bondo it. There's going to be um, some, some webbing. It's going to come up and make a loop with a Velcro loop on the end so it can attach to the belt. And that's about it. This should be a very, very quick video. sanded. Got some acetone, glazing putty, chip brush, cup, and my mask. So I'm going to pull you around right here next to me. And we're just going to glazing putty this whole thing until I run out of glazing putty. Couple of rounds of glazing putty and acetone and sanding later. This is where we are with them. I'm happy. We're gonna prime them next. Actually, we're gonna prime and paint next. Hold on, let me grab it. We're doing something a little different than normal. I'm using sandable automotive white primer. So white thighs, I want to keep everything as white as possible. Well, they're, they're pink now. So, you know, no matter what have the glazing putty to deal with but um, I'm tired of things going weird it's cold out so I wanted to, to, to hedge my bets as best I can these have been in a warm room for since I bought them and then we're gonna use just the same perfect color match we used on the helmet because again I'm not taking any chances prime the whole thing paint the whole thing pick it back up after that Primer's had time to dry. It looks fantastic. So, on to the white.
turned out pretty okay. I'm happy with them. Uh, still a little bit of banding laterally. Uh, I guess it's faceting. There's a little bit of faceting left. I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to use the same automotive clear. Everything is cleared, and then we're on to webbing. Everything's been cleared. Um, you can kind of see the yellow from the, the filament through the paint, which is weird. It's had four coats of primer, three coats of, of top, and it still kind of shows through. At some point in time, I may end up sanding everything down, doing a nice light gray primer, then white on top of it. Um, but I'm not doing that now. Right now, all we're doing is putting everything together, which is super simple, and then we're going to be done with this part of the project. I've got a large spool of uh, two-inch nylon webbing. That's all I'm using for this. Um, what I'm doing is I'm looping under the belt, back around, and then putting a safety pin to hold it in place. The two-inch webbing fits almost perfect in between these two slots I made, and then I'm just going to hot glue this in place. That way nothing is permanent, everything is adjustable. Easy. There's, there's thousands of difficult ways I could do this. This is the fastest, easiest, and most effective. So, that's what I'm doing. Glue gun's already heated up. I need a glue gun with a longer cord. Let's move everything closer for a second. Hold up. Rather than fighting this stuff, I'll just slide everything closer. So having it attached to the belt, it's kind of how stormtroopers do it too. So I'm taking a lot of cues from them because, you know, we've been doing that for a real long time. I'm trying to give myself just a little bit of a gap. Um, and I'm only securing it at the bottom. That way it can pivot as needed. I don't really have to worry about much. And that's it. Thighs are done. I know it's a quick video, right? The next one probably won't be. This one's quick. Thighs, right? Of all the things I've made for this costume, these feel the weirdest. I have full range of motion. Nothing really rubs that much, but it looks pretty good. It's weird. It's a weird costume piece. Yeah. These look fine. I like them. Like I said, the only part that I'm not happy with is this weird little yellow bit. But that's relatively subtle, and I think in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, this was supposed to be the last video, and we were supposed to do a full reveal. But I'm having issues with the visor. That project has turned out to be an absolute nightmare. Um, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Hopefully next video is going to be that, um, if I can figure it out. I've got three options. Option one didn't quite work. We're moving on to option two. Hopefully it works fine. If not, there's always option three. And I'll have an entire video to explain the whole thing. But if you want to see that and you want to see where we're going with the rest of the costume, 
should be a reveal real, real soon. Um, maybe think about liking and subscribing. We got a, a bunch of videos. Share, comment. Comments are important. Um, they help. They help the algorithm know that uh, you know people are watching. People are doing things. I appreciate you making it to the end, no matter what. So, uh, hope to see you next time.